Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you guys today how you could add the dual arena or dual mod to your map. I've already went ahead and extracted the dual project and uh, I'll also include a plugin that you could use rather than starting with the project from scratch. You could always just download the project and then go into it, plugins, and you'll see the dual mod right here. That would be the folder that you're looking for. So let's jump in and get started if you do not use unreal often or you're unaware of where your plugins would be located you need to go to view options show plugin content and in here we have our dual mod content I've included an example map for you guys to look over it's fairly straightforward just a spawn area up here you need to include the game logic in your level and the dual manager. Um, the dual manager is this actor right here. Say dual manager. And there's this box that surrounds it. That's going to be your queue area. So you basically want to make that the size of um, the area where you want people to drop down and queue up for a match. And the way you could adjust its size is you can go to your box once you have it selected. And then you'll see over here box extents. If I go ahead and change it you can see it's shrinking and making it bigger so set that back to 500 so we've covered the game logic you need to plop in the dual manager which is the area players fall into I tend to like to put a spectating platform up top so if you want to take a quick break you could just sit up here and wait and then you could drop down whenever you're ready um, the other thing that we need to include is a dual arena so it would be this blueprint right here and the dual arena has two child actors. Those are the spawn points. And you can see they have an arrow facing forward. The way you could adjust those is if you were to select it, you could go ahead and move it. You'd like to make sure you've got the dual arena selected. You come down to your details panel, select the child actor, and then that allows you to move your spawn points to the spawn location. The other thing that's contained within the dual arena is a pawn overlap area. And this is responsible for killing the players inside of the arena. So you just want to make sure that, once again, like the waiting area, it overlaps the entire place that um, players would be standing within. And you could just click on it and you could adjust the size as you see here. You just want to make it a little bit bigger. Um, I do want to note that you do not want to accidentally have them overlapping like this because then you could kill people in different arenas so the best way is just to make it cover your one arena and its entirety meaning top to bottom as well and outside of that I mean that's basically the entire setup from there you just gotta go into your game logic in your map which you'll search for and link it to your definition which should be fairly straightforward um, if you guys have mapped before but just to show people that have not mapped before the steps you need to go up to Windows Pavlov workshop you need to create a new UGC and you need to make sure this goes for everyone you need to make sure that you move these blueprints up into your UGC drag it and then move here do not copy once it's moved you can go down to your dual mod content right click and fix up redirectors and then you're basically good to go from there. Um, the other thing that I'll cover now is you could set up weapon spawners in the map because by default everyone's going to go into the map without a weapon. So one cool thing that Mav did that I sort of liked was he put every single weapon in front of the player, including all of the attachments. And then it's just important to note that you set them to two, which means that they will always be available. If you wanted to have like a power weapon in the center, I would set that to zero, spawn based off of a timer. Um, you cannot use one spawn once per round with this because there are no rounds in this. It's just always technically in play. So you need to do it either based off the timer or always available. And let's say we want to do it based off the timer, set it to zero. The minimum value you could set for your min spawn time is I believe five seconds. Um, you could set your max spawn time it has to be greater than your min spawn time so like seven seconds or 
10 seconds would be fine. I think I have defaults in here for it to not go under for these values. So, um, but five to 10 seconds, and then it'll respawn. And that would be for like your power weapons or say you have grenades over here, you don't want people constantly chucking them. It'd probably be better to set them to zero and put a timer on them. But yeah, I mean, outside of that, the mod basically just handles everything else that I could link my um, definition here and I can go into my definition and link the map. The other thing I should cover is you need to have custom game mode selected and you should just put it on deathmatch only because this is meant for deathmatch. And outside of that, if I were to upload this right now, it would be the exact same working example that I've got up on the workshop. So if you guys want to check it out, you can go look for my workshop items and find it. But yeah, I appreciate it. Um, guys, feel free to arrange your arenas any way you'd like. And if you could, if you could include like a thanks, that would be great. But it's not mandatory. All right. If you guys have any questions, just add me on the Discord.